Over the years, Britain's Got Talent has produced quite a few household names, some more popular than others. But when asked to name a BGT success, one name comes to mind faster than others. We bet 26-year-old Callum Scott could not have guessed, even in his wildest dreams, just what his Britain's Got Talent Season 9 audition would unlock for his future. With an audition so powerful it can't escape top 10 listicles or people's minds, it's not that surprising that Callum ended up on the path that he did. Now, two albums and countless musical adventures later, we can see that Callum Scott definitely has not wasted his opportunities. So, join us as we take a deeper look at exactly what happened to Callum Scott after his time on Britain's Got Talent. Callum Scott has been nothing shy of brilliant since his time on Britain's Got Talent, but his past experience with music is less commonly known. Born and raised in a small town called Beverley in the East Riding of Yorkshire, England, Callum didn't actually begin his musical journey until he was pushed into it by his sister, Jade, who is also a talented vocalist herself. Before being encouraged to try out singing, Callum was actually a drummer. But Jade enrolled him in a star search competition run by the local paper, The Hull Daily Mail. And wouldn't you know it, he ended up winning the event. Callum's parents split up when he was very young, so he didn't necessarily let himself try to fulfill his lifelong singing dreams, instead choosing to work as an office-based HR professional and reserving his beautiful voice for the walls inside his room. His sister, however, was not entirely sold on the idea of a brother giving up on his passion, and upon overhearing him sing one time, entered him into a bunch of singing competitions. Eventually, he joined a local Maroon 5 tribute band who called themselves the Maroon 4 and toured around the United Kingdom. Not long after this, in 2014, he formed a dance-pop duo, The Experiment, with John McIntyre, another local friend, and they even released a single called Girl, You're Beautiful. The song was fairly famous, at least locally, and they even performed it on Good Morning Britain and BBC Look North. However, the duo broke up soon after that for reasons still unknown. Whatever those reasons may be, the experiment breaking up turned out to be an amazing opening for Callum Scott. Since less than a year after his first song's release, Callum got to try out for Britain's Got Talent. He wasn't going to be auditioning alone, though. Jade, his ever-supportive sister, was also all set and prepared to audition on the show. Just before Callum's audition, which was broadcast on ITV, Jade also auditioned but was stopped before she could finish her song. This happened twice, and the judges eventually decided to let her go with all of them voting no. Where Jade lagged, Callum seemed to shine, and in April of 2015, soon after his sister's disappointing audition, Callum Scott's hauntingly beautiful rendition of Robin's Dancing On My Own went viral. What happened next probably led to a few awkward dinners for the Scott family, as Callum received four standing ovations and Simon Cowell's golden buzzer. Explaining his decision to send Callum straight to the show's competitive semi-finals, Simon claimed that he had never seen anyone possess the kind of talent Callum had. Audiences worldwide clearly agreed, since his audition clip currently has over 385 million views on YouTube, and even years later, it is one of the most well-known performances to come out of that show. In fact, Callum's audition, even at the time of its release, had a wide enough reach to receive support from stars such as Little Mix and Ashton Kutcher. In a day, his follower count spiked from 400 to 25,000. Callum was proper famous now. But with that kind of success comes instant and crushing pressure. If Callum was remarkable back when the audition was aired, he'd have to be even more special at his semi-finals appearance, or he'd be a one-hit wonder. But thankfully, Callum's performance of We Don't Have Time To Take Our Clothes Off by Jermaine Stewart was so impressive that he ended up winning the semi-finals, which ended up sending him straight through to the final. And we all know how that worked out for Callum. The young artist unfortunately could not win the show, despite his impressive track record and finished sixth on the ninth season of Britain's Got Talent. However, it's not as though that particular fact stopped him from using his well-earned praise and the opportunities that were given to him as soon as he could. Immediately after finishing on BGT, the 26-year-old seized the opportunity to perform a series of shows around the United Kingdom, including platforms like Viking FM Future Star Awards, Flamingo Land Resort Fair, Westwood Cross Shopping Center's 10th Anniversary, Gibraltar Summer Nights, Hull Daily Mail Star, and Dartford Festival. And that wasn't the only good idea Callum had after his time on the show. In fact, still riding that Britain's Got Talent fame, Callum decided to capitalize on his viral performance and released a cover of his audition song, Dancing On My Own, officially and independently in 2016. 
You'd assume a move like that might backfire given it's nothing new, but people ate it right up out of his hands. The official music video of the cover currently has over 512 million views, so it ended up working out for him brilliantly, as he ended up hitting the top 40 charts pretty soon after release, and all that with little to no radio play. Only a few short months later, in August, it was certified platinum in the UK, having sold over 600,000 copies. The same year, the singer revealed the fact that he had managed to sign with Capitol Records and A&R exclusive Alex Wilhelm. So, while performing on television shows and expanding his reach, Callum was working on his new album. In September, Callum Scott released a promotional single with Evite Sangalo, a Brazilian recording artist for the 2016 Summer Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro. They ended up performing the song live at the closing ceremony of the event as well. Dancing On My Own had a resurgence in popularity at the end of that year, and Callum started the new year with renewed vigor and started working on his debut album, Only Human. He also released the single, You Are The Reason. Unsurprisingly, his single was an immediate hit, and currently the song has 1 billion views on YouTube. This resulted in months of touring and writing as much as possible. In an interview around that time, he revealed that following up these two hits was difficult since as an artist, he had made it a personal goal to continuously produce tracks even better than the ones he produced before. Eventually, in October of 2018, Callum released what he described to be a song that was his most personal to date. Callum's lyrics have always been honest and vulnerable, so to hear that was anticipatory fuel itself. He said that the song was a result of mixed emotions like loneliness, acceptance, and the heartbreaking but liberating tale of his coming out experience. In fact, that particular theme is also extremely evident throughout his discography at the time. His debut album Only Human was released the same year and focuses on his relationship with himself. It peaked at number 4 in the official album's chart top 100 and spent a total of 8 weeks there. After a few quiet years due to the world shutdown, Callum returned in the form of a partnership with the American watch company Bulliver. He worked with them on the development of a music documentary series titled Minutes with Callum, which explored the creative process behind his upcoming second album at the time. In winter of the same year, Callum returned as part of the Britain's Got Talent Christmas Spectacular and sang his hit You Are The Reason live alongside a performance with Mersey Girls. While Callum returned to the music scene, he returned with an acoustic EP titled Only Acoustic, a fun play on words over the fact that the EP had acoustic tracks from his latest album. Not just that, he also released two more EPs titled Only Collabs and Only Love. While all of this was pretty exciting, fans were desperate for Callum to release new music, and he soon delivered. Biblical, the first single from his sophomore album Bridges was released on June the 11th, 2021, and currently has over 14 million views on YouTube. After releasing two more singles from his unreleased second album, Callum made a notable appearance on Lost Frequency's latest single titled Where Are You Now? Then, come mid-October of the same year, the single made its debut on the official chart top 100 at position 91. It eventually climbed to a peak of number 3 in 2022, which was quite a milestone for Callum, as it marked his second ever single to break into the top 5. Not tired of collaborations yet, he also teamed up with Briar Bear and Jasmine Thompson on their singles Da Premiere Vez, From the First Time, and Love is Just a Word. Bridges was officially released in June of 2022, and later entered the official Top 100 Albums chart at 48. The same year, he joined the script on their European tour and started his own Bridges World Tour. In October, he appeared on the BBC's The Hitler Celebrity Special with DJ Naughty Boy. So far this year, Callum has collaborated with DJ Jax Jones on the hit single Whistle, worked with DJ Robin Schultz, and Take That on a re-recorded version of Greatest Day, and performed At Your Worst at the Pride of Britain Awards with the award winners. Suffice it to say, he does not show signs of stopping anytime soon.